free from attachment and without craving for results, is considered sattvic. Action that is driven purely by craving for pleasure, selfishness, and much effort is rajasic. Action that is undertaken because of delusion, disregarding consequences, without considering loss or injury to others or self, is called tamasic. So today we're going to be talking about the gunas. The gunas are really important for me personally and kind of an important part of our teacher training in that um, the gunas can be really helpful for understanding how uh, what we eat, what we listen to, and how we behave may be affecting our life. And as yoga teachers, it can be really helpful for understanding the energy that we might be feeling in a room and therefore what kind of class we should teach to this particular being or beings. So in yoga, there's an understanding that um, when the whole, we could even say when the Big Bang happened and the whole universe came into creation, there were three main characteristics uh, that we saw or that can be perceived within the universe. The first characteristic being that of sattva. Sattva is a state of harmony, purity, and balance, joy, and intelligence. And the color associated with sattva is white. The kind of sp spaciousness or peacefulness that comes with sattva makes it easier for us to inquire back and see what it is that we are beyond all of the gunas. Sattva is most active during the daytime. It's neutral and balanced. And to increase sattva, we reduce both rajas and tamas, eat sattvic foods, and enjoy activities and environments that produce joy and positive thoughts. Sattvic foods include whole grains, legumes, fresh fruits, and vegetables, anything that is very close to nature and a natural way of being. The next guna to talk about is rajas, and rajas is associated with the color of red, it's a state of energy, action, passion, passion, change, and movement. The nature of rajas is of attraction, longing, and attachment. And rajas strongly binds us to the fruits of our work. Most active during sunrise and sunset, twilight, or transition with the sun. Rajas, the positive side is that it sets things in motion and it really gets things done. To reduce rajas, we avoid rajasic foods, which can be spicy foods, greasy foods, over-exercising, overwork, loud music, excessive thinking, and consuming excessive material goods. So the next guna that we'll describe is tamas, and the color associated with tamas is black. Tamas is a state of darkness, delusion, inertia, inactivity, and materiality. It manifests from ignorance and deludes all beings from their spiritual truths. It's most active during the night or when there's darkness. So the gunas can be helpful for us in personal healing as well as as yoga teachers helping to uh, guide other beings in their own uh, healing process. The way that sattva is used for healing is that it brings in uh, natural herbs and natural medicines and peaceful locations, meditation, yoga, and just clean and healthy environments. You can't jump from tamas to sattva. Uh, sattva is just too subtle for a tamasic person or being to be able to, to feel. Uh, in order to move from tamas, which is a more inert and sometimes depressed state of being, uh, we need to have rajas. Rajas is activity. And so by using activity and bringing in fire and, and passion and liveliness, we start to break up that thick, heavy energy of tamas. So as yoga teachers, we might want to uh, prescribe a faster-paced asana class, hot yoga, uh, dancing to music, um, some faster paced pranayamas, uh, anything to, to kind of get the body moving and even to break a sweat would be great for somebody who's in a tamasic state. 
So when someone's in a rajasic state, uh, they have difficulty feeling settled. They're kind of in this go, go, go way of being. Uh, they're overachievers, they're perfectionists, uh, and they're in a constant state of competition and striving and effort. And I'm sure a lot of us know people like this. And so the, the way to heal or move through this rajasic state is to then introduce sattva. So this person is probably going to want the hot yoga class, the fast-paced vinyasa, and the, the, the classes that break a sweat. Uh, when really, uh, in order to start calming rajas, we want to introduce more sattva as yoga teachers. And introducing sattva uh, would mean more meditation, more calming pranayamas, a more slow and mindful asana class, and... Yeah, that would help to hear Vajas.